All right, Into let's see. Round one. Let's rock. All right, so starting off, yeah, I like to start my first wave on the bottom, second wave on the top. Um, one of the big things I notice is that you send your your third wave up top as well. That means you're gonna have two waves going at the top, uh, which leaves the bottom pretty open for your opponent. I think I like to, at the very least in the early game, I like to mix it up a little bit more, keep pressure on both lanes. Uh, you'll notice that's a, a little bit of a problem when you when you come over here later. Um, you come over here to pick up units, and you'll notice you have like a big group of units over here, and not much in the middle right here. All right, so you get a few units there. That's not bad, especially against uh, Kai and Sin, whose servants are more expensive. Would have been great if you could have gotten the. Um, the third unit as well, but ultimately not not a deal breaker or anything. Yeah, so you notice the side of the map right here, you've got a whole bunch of units kind of clumped up going up this ramp, right? But um, only one unit in the middle right here. I think I like to mix it up a little bit more because this, uh, having a big clump right here is really, really heavily reliant on you picking all of these guys up and spreading them out. And then theoretically, if your opponent shows up and stalls you here, um, their units are going to start taking over the map while you got three units sitting in your inventory and three units just chilling right here, right? I think you definitely make the best, uh, the best of the scenario because you do end up uh, getting the down here. I think that's really good, uh, but some, something to keep in mind. Yeah, so I, I'm really liking the position right here, right? You've got a lot of units spread out. The only thing um, that stands out a little bit of a red, red flag to me is just that you have this ghost right here. Um, that is kind of just free mana for your opponent. I would have maybe sent uh, a couple of drills to go up here and go around the long way and stuff just to make sure that uh, your opponent isn't generating free income right there. Um, keeps your servants from clumping up too much as well, but I really like what I'm seeing right here. And I really, really, really like that you're um, remembering to use Dragon Install when you have 50 resources and stuff. Don't let it build up to 100. A lot more efficient at 50 resource. Yeah, you show up here just in time to prevent this ghost from being taken. That's really good. Still, still a really good fight, even if you don't get the kill. Unfortunate, but um, still good. You still come out ahead. You've got uh, quite a few units clumped up here, right? So it might be worth picking up some of those and spreading them around a little bit. Um, you're making sure to spend your mana though, that's good. Nice. So I like that. Got, uh, you've just lost a drill here, so you got like three drills versus two swordsmen, so not bad, not bad. I would have maybe maybe stayed to um, damage some of these swordsmen and pick up some of the drills so that you can run around the backside and plant them or something like that. Just a bit worrisome having like a big group of servants right here, right? Because then the enemy or er, the enemy master shows up and clears them a little bit quickly. I like that you that you don't forget to come and clear these though. Yeah, so that's good. Definitely, definitely don't want to leave a free ghost on the map for your opponent for too long. But yeah, because these units were were clumped up. Um, the opponent kills them a little bit quickly. Maybe it would be good to split them up along these ghosts to uh, protect them. But you're starting to see that um, purple ends up taking up over the map a little bit faster now. Yeah, unfortunately not able to hit that ghost in time. A valiant effort though. But yeah, unfortunately if uh, you can't get it, might be worth buying some uh, anti-melee, anti-armor rods or something like that. Yeah, unfortunately, because of the way the map has been turning out, now you've got like a big clump of units right here. So these three ghosts, you're going to have a big clump of units going over there, which means if the master shows up, right, he's going to have an easier time clearing those. 
I think I would have maybe gone and picked these units up and tried to plant them instead of these other units because they're weaker. Uh, you're going to see why that's a little bit of a problem later on. Also want you to, so the big the, the biggest thing that I notice, so I want you to notice your, your mana right here, right? So we start this round off, you've bought everything, you're at uh, 321, right? Um, time is 525, so I'm just going to fast forward a little bit here. We'll, we'll rewind back to this in a bit, but throughout all this time, notice that your, your mana has just been stacking up and stacking up, right? Your uh, dragon install has been stacking up quite a bit as well. So all this stuff is happening, we're fighting, you run away, and bam, you're at like a thousand mana like two minutes later, right? And then by the time you notice this, um, the, the map is pretty much all purple. So that that's a little bit of um, what I think I noticed was the biggest game changer in this map. And you notice your dragon install is at 90, and now you're now you're kind of pressured to try to hurry and find a time to use it, right? In a situation like this, because I'm so worried of it hitting 100, sometimes I'll spend it early, even knowing that I won't get the most efficient use out of it. Because if it gets to 100 and I spend it, then I'm going to be all the way back down to zero, right? And I won't be able to hit 50 resource for quite a while. So yeah, you notice right here. So it's good to notice that as soon as possible, you definitely don't want to be earning like extra resource beyond 100 since it doesn't uh, stack up like that. Right here, you notice that I have no mana and you get a really strong combo on me, right? But instead you uh, focus your attention on the gauntlet body. I think uh, I wouldn't worry about the gauntlet body as much because you're already um, being pressured so heavily on the map. The one thing that you do have going for yourself is your master ghost health and you already have a down on your opponent. So I think I would probably focus on killing the opponent more right here, especially because you have you have a bunch of tension, your opponent has no health, no tension. Should be pretty easy for Soul to get the kill there. I do like that you stop chasing right here. Um, you never know how long your opponent's going to run for, right? So sometimes people get emotional and just keep chasing them down. I 100% do it myself sometimes. Uh, but then you just end up wasting like your dragon install, wasting your time. Yeah, again, your, your mana ends up building up quite a bit here. Something definitely pay attention to. So you notice me go down here and you do chase a little bit, which I think is a little bit of a misplay because look at all these units that you got grouped up right here, right? So you were just over here killing these servants. And if you noticed, um, if you were looking at this ghost, there are basically no units right here. And it would be very unlikely that I would just have units like stationed around here, but nothing right here, right? So if you, instead of chasing me, maybe gather up some of these units, place them around the map, I think that would be one way to help try to get yourself back into the game, especially because I just ran your opponent, just ran down this way, right? So it's going to be a while before he comes back up here. What now? Yeah, I like that you don't tunnel vision too hard on chasing down that servant, especially because, you know, your opponent's right here, and Akai, you know how fast they can go through servants, with the uh, overdrive at least. I think, uh, I think getting a little bit distracted there is maybe not so great because these are just um, mobile units, right? And you've got, again, you've got this large clump of units right here. I think I would have probably come up here once uh, your opponent runs off, again, grab a bunch of units and start planting them all along this top side. Because while your opponent does have some, some stronger units, like Swordsman, Gauntlet Body, and Springbok are all pretty clearly unlocked at this point. Um, because it's Kai and his units are expensive, there's no way that he has like full map saturation or anything like that. So you can still get a lot of use out of planting units around. Ah, uh, sorry, I wasn't paying too much in the fight too much. Yeah, unfortunately, fight doesn't go your way. Would have been nice to get an extra kill here, but... Ultimately, this, this fight isn't really game-changing one way or another. Um, if you get the kill, it would be nice, but yeah. Heat it up. Yeah, again, as you notice, quite a bit of mana, right? Definitely want to be purchasing some stuff. 
honestly even enough mana to buy another stack of blades or something like that start getting some some stronger pushes going out the bottom here or at least more units to defend your master ghost I think if you're if you're gonna fight here, you might as well drop this this extra blade. Give yourself a little bit more resource. Doesn't take anything to uh, doesn't take anything to just drop him off, even if you're like walking. Can sometimes change the the tide of the battle. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate to die right there, then yeah, you notice that your Master Ghost is getting attacked, I think. You got no units over there. Yeah, if, if you ever have uh, an enemy an enemy Ghost right next to your Master Ghost like that, super risky to, uh, to just leave it undefended. I think you might have had a... I think you might have had some drills here, but yeah, Convict Hammer will make quick work of those. And unfortunately, just not a whole lot to do right here. A lot of units around. You've got the anti-everything rods from um, the Heaven's Libra. Yeah, just a bit unfortunate, but ultimately, um, I did think that there was a lot right that you did. Um, I think you even had a really strong position in the map early on. Uh, the two, the so the one biggest thing, of course, is remembering to spend your mana. That's like ninety nine percent of like everybody's problem, myself included. Always really tough to uh, uh, to to manage all these different things at the same time, right? But um, for the most part, uh, especially early, early, uh, you were definitely doing a great job spending your mana. You're doing a great job managing your dragon install resource. Um, there were a couple of situations where uh, your units got a little clumped up, maybe you want to spread those out a little bit more, but um, overall, uh, despite maybe looking at like the late game and seeing how purple the map is, I think this was actually a lot closer of a match um, than the ending portrays it to be. So yeah, just keep working on that kind of stuff and uh, let me know if you have any questions.